I had not seen this before, and I just played it, and I kind of fell in love with it enough that I asked the people at Ashdown if I could borrow this for an hour to make a video about it, which is what I'm doing. I found an empty room where I can make this video to show you. I don't own this. I don't get to keep this. I just thought it was cool. I'm here at this big music gear convention called Gear Fest, which is put on by Sweetwater. So I'm at Sweetwater. I've been walking around, meeting all these people, going to these different vendors, trying different things out. And so far, this is the coolest thing that I've come across. I was like, I wanna make a video about that. Is there any way I can borrow it? So that's what I'm doing right now. I have limited time, so I'm just gonna jump in here. The coolest thing about this to me is aside from using it as a conventional amplifier that can push a speaker, you can also use it without a speaker plugged into it. A lot of amps, most amps, if you have them not plugged into a speaker, can actually damage the amplifier. So they designed this in such a way that that's not the case. So you can use this like a conventional amp with a speaker to push air in a room, or you can use it more as just like a preamp that you just put on your desk and you plug straight into your recording interface. If you like authentic tube tone for a British rock vibe, it's kind of hard to beat Ash down. I really like what they do. In fact, I just had a tour in Europe for about three weeks with the rock band Roofman, and I used Ashdown for that tour, and it sounded really good. I really liked it. I was really happy with it. So it's a company that I don't have any affiliation with, but I admire them and I respect them. I just have my recorder here. So this is just a little zoom. I'm going straight into this. So keep in mind, all tube amp, no cabinet, no speaker, silent in the room. I just want you to hear what this can do in the context of, or the practicality of, of, for those of you that are doing stuff at home, you wanna be able to have an authentic sound without maybe having to have a, a cab running. If you have the bass, the mid, and the treb all the way down, you have no sound. So I'm gonna turn these all up to center, and then I'm gonna bring the gain all the way down. So this gain is almost more like a drive or a distortion. You still get volume coming through if you have the gain all the way down. So a really clean sort of 2B sound would be something like this. Which sounds great, like nice and juicy. I mean, that already sounds great to me. Then as we bring in the gain, it's gonna bring up that like grittiness. 10% here, gonna bring the volume back down. I'm starting to hear some of that grit. Maybe I'll play with the pick so you can hear it. Those talons are coming out as you turn that gain up. Just go a little more. That's not even halfway. Let's push a little more even. There's something very inspiring to me about a fully tube amp. You get this natural saturation, even if it's not audible, like it's giving you more traction in the mix. It's giving you natural compression, which is helping you sit evenly in the mix, even if it's not perceivable. So you could use it as like a clean, always on sort of tube pre, or you could use it for that in your face, authentic grit that at least to me, Ashdown is known for. I thought it was something that you should know about, and that's that's all there is to it. Fully tube, 15 watts, small, punchy, durable, affordable, versatile. You can plug it into a speaker. You don't have to have it plugged into a speaker. You can use it as a preamp on your desk, or you can take it to a gig. I think that's a nice solution in bridging two worlds, the old school tube fully analog thing, and then also the practical modern approach to a home studio. I gotta go return it now. Thank you Sweetwater for putting on GearFest, for letting me use Don's studio here. Uh, if you wanna help this channel out, I will have some affiliate links to this and to a bunch of other stuff that I think is cool. And you can also check out my base courses. All of that will be linked down below. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.